we did an exercise in class, my first essay on what is an Indian was me just explaining how I didn't know. I started knowing very little about what an Indian is. Um, I remember sort of being tripped up on the word. Our stories aren't told. I mean, like people don't even really know that there really are natives or, you know, indigenous people still here. We're always, people always think of us as in the history, in the past, but we're still here and we still have our stories. We still have our way of life, that we still live that way. The course itself is called Archives and Oral Histories. This weekend they're going through experiential learning in Native American traditional medicines, crafts, and histories. So they're learning how to make corn, they're learning how to make rattles, they're learning how to do the sweat lodge, they're learning how storytellers tell the history of their own communities. And so the moral is be careful how and who you talk to and to treat everyone well. I think really um, the Sweat Lodge was probably my favorite experience. It was really an emotional catharsis. You're, when you go in that lodge, you're on your knees, you're humble. It's not comfortable in there, you know. You're sweating, you're giving of yourself. You ever, all your impurities, everything is coming out and you're, when you're coming out, you're like brand new again. My favorite part actually was the visual of the hot rock sparkling and allowing myself to sweat that much and, and be in peace with it and be kind of in a, a state of thankfulness. I felt really refreshed by it and it's something I would have never done. This is what we use to cook the corn with, hardwood ashes. So you start off with a bunch of corn and you have to take off the kernels which is Really interesting, if you use like this twisting method, they all just fall off. And then you actually mix this huge cauldron of water. This exposes our students to a new culture. Um, I believe very much in the, the public mission of the university to interact with the communities around us. The students are taken by the spirituality of the people, of the connection to nature. We understand that at that time of the day, because of those original teachings that all beings on the earth will pause and reflect. The other thing they are becoming aware of is what they don't know about Native Americans, that they kind of have this fourth grade social studies view. Their first writings were kind of like academic. Then the second one was kind of, you could sense a little bit more personal emotion. They're growing themselves. I mean, one of the most marvelous moments was when Yifei, who's from China, told us that he'd never been in the woods. Or there's two people here who have never seen snow. It's easy to grow when you start with such a low level of understanding, and I think that's sort of what most of us wrote about in the first What is an Indian paper. We're really just one. I, d I don't mean to say that, like, um, to be colorblind, but I realize that, like, we all are humans. And it's really interesting how we create stereotypes or we create these caricatures of people. But then when you meet them, you realize that you relate so much. I think that I've learned most the importance of giving, of being thankful, and of being accepting. They speak a lot about that in the ceremonies that we're experiencing, being thankful and also kind of being tolerant, which I think is so amazing because throughout their history, People have been so intolerant of them. Now we have a sense of how this culture is alive and how much it is thriving in a lot of ways. Away.